hey guys welcome back to our channel i'm here with another easy video to show you how to create a thumbnail and how to get your thumbnail on your youtube videos it's easy easy does it uh-huh easy does it sing with me easy does it <laughs> let's get right into this video now you will need two simple apps to create your thumbnail and get it uploaded to your youtube video mm -hmm. the first thing you will need is the pixel lab and the youtube studio app you can get it from the apple play store or the google play store which i have already downloaded so let me go to my pixel lab it's loading it's loading okay so the first thing that i normally do once i enter my pixel lab is to set the size of the thumbnail that you're gonna be creating now being that it's a youtube thumbnail it have a specific size to ensure that it fits on the video perfectly now in the upper right hand corner there is three little dots i'm gonna click on those dots then i'm gonna look for image size and click on that now where you see preset that's where you're gonna select youtube thumbnail let me select it once i select youtube thumbnail it automatically populates the width and the height so i don't have to set anything else all i have to do is click ok wonderful now the size is already set the next thing that i will be doing is to add a picture now in the upper left hand corner you will see a plus sign i'm gonna go ahead and click on that sign then i'm gonna select where i want to get my picture from that i will be using for my thumbnail so i will be using gallery today so i'll be selecting from gallery okay so i have recent my internet is moving a little slow today so it's loading it's loading it's 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 loading ooh, ooh, ooh. okay so i have some pictures here let me see which one let me select from screenshots see what i can get in there to use okay here's this wonderful video i'm sorry picture of shensia she's a hottie okay so now that i have selected my picture i have the option if i want to crop the picture or not being that i don't want to crop anything i'm just gonna select the plus sign the sorry not the plus sign the little scoochy or sticky that is in the lower right hand corner then i will use uh, this little white circle thingy right here to adjust it just how i want it you can bring it up that's perfect now when you have a set um, the picture to exactly how you want it you have several options here that you can actually choose from you can either add text to the thumbnail let me show you how you can add text now the first thing to do whenever you're going to add a text to the thumbnail you want to ensure that the picture is locked so whenever you're typing you see it can move up and down 
So you want to ensure that it's in one position so whenever you're typing your text it's not jumping all over the place. To do so, this little icon in the upper right hand corner that is below the three little dots. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. Then I'm going to go ahead and select the lock that is right beside the picture. There, you see the lock is highlighted. Now, if I want to go ahead and add a text, I will get the picture below where you see new text. I want to get that on top and the picture on the bottom. So I'm going to go ahead and hold my finger down on it and then just simply pull it down to the bottom. Oh, oh, pull it down, pull it down, you're going down. Uh oh, you're going down. Uh oh. There, so I've went ahead and I've pulled it down. Now you can see on my picture, you see new text there. In order for me to remove this section that I've just highlighted on the left hand side, I'll just simply go ahead and click on the icon below the three little dots once more. Hooray, it's gone. Now I'm going to go ahead and type. Uh, let what should I type? Let's type girl. Hmm. Now to type in the lower corner, there is a capital A. You would click on that A. There is a pencil and below the pencil there is the word edit. I'm going to click on the word edit. Then I will be removing this here that says new text and I will add the word girl. You can either do it in capital, it doesn't matter how you want it. Once you type your word, you select OK. Now here's my word girl. So I'm going to go ahead and select a style for this. So I select style, then I select browse. Then I simply pick one of these. I'm going to go with the first one. Okay, now you have lots of options down here. You can choose color. I'm selecting that red. You can choose the size of how you want your text to be. Smaller or larger. Once you select the size, you just go ahead and select the little scoochie. You can even rotate it. It doesn't matter. You have several options down here. You can choose from whichever one you want based on how you like your thumbnail to be. So I have done the word girl on my thumbnail today. Now in the upper part of the screen, you have a little icon that looks like a floppy disk. I'm going to click on that. It's the second to last option in the first row going to the left so let me select it and then i'm gonna click save as image see before we started we have already selected the size which is the width 1280 the height is 720 so we don't need to do anything else here you just click save to gallery or share whichever one you want to do which i selected save to gallery now once i selected save to gallery my thumbnail is already saved so i just exit out of this um, pixel lab app and then i will go to the youtube studio app it's loading it's loading easy does it tv easy it's easy it's easy does it tv it's easy it's easy it's easy does it tv so my internet is out but don't worry guys i'm gonna go ahead and do another video to show you how you upload your video your thumbnails to youtube okay so Thank you so much for joining Easy Does It, Easy Does It, Easy Does It TV. 
with another amazing video don't forget to like comment subscribe and share and i'll see you in the next video where i will be showing you how to get your thumbnail on your youtube video using the youtube studio app bye